If your boyfriend likes photos and videos of girls with huge butts on the internet, then this video is for you. We're just going to act like I never left. How y'all doing? Hey, fellas, would you go through your girl's porn history? Would you violate her privacy and go through her porn history? Let's talk about it. But my ex-boyfriend would like photos of Jeanette Guzman, the Instagram model. I think he actually only liked like five photos total. But when I discovered this, and we had just started dating, when I discovered this, I would cry every night. I would devalue myself. I have BPD, by the way. I would devalue myself. I am not good enough. I am not a good enough person because I don't have a fat butt. And I don't have every single surgery that Jeanette Guzman has, so I'm not good enough. And this went on for a long time. I was very insecure and I became very, very sad and I just hated who I was. I hated myself. So what did I do? I tried everything in the books. I tried everything I possibly could do to look like Jeanette Guzman. And I think I've done a pretty good job. I think I did a decent job. But now, now this dude is gone. And apparently his type is completely freaking different to anything I am. So I did all this for nothing. You're telling me I got surgery that I can't reverse. Just for the man to go have a different type. Uh, this was a weird one for me. Watching Shorty um, kind of be distraught over uh, Buddy leaving her. Um, I understand exactly where Abner Preach is coming from. Um, but let's get into it a little bit more. No, that's on you. That's on you. Let me tell you a little something. Your ex-boyfriend was looking at pictures and liking pictures of who with a big butt. Cool. You decided to look at that. It's like if I was looking at my girl's prawn history and she likes dude with humongous I'm talking about 12, 15. I don't have a 12, 15 inch. I would never go and look at my girl's porn history. Never. Never. One, I think it's extremely intrusive. Two, a lot of people aren't ready for that. You're invading so much private space. I've had people do it to me. But the reason why I would never do it, and, and, and it's not based on any insecurities of mine or nothing like that, it's like, I, I, in that area, I don't, I really don't have any. <laughs> no, man, that's a fantasy. If the person's with you and he likes other things, it doesn't mean that it's exactly that. What, what was it? That's her. That's the girl that she was looking at. What I'm saying is, I'm just good with who I am. I can't, I can't change that unless I change. You understand what I'm saying? Let's, let's keep that in mind. I cannot change something about me unless I change it. So if you want to go get plastic surgery, if you want to work out, if you want to take supplements and vitamins, if you want to uh, uh, seek your physician and have your physician give you some advice, uh, whatever it may be, but you cannot change something about yourself unless you change that thing about yourself you can't think it into change is what i'm saying you doing all those changes to to pleasure your mm -hmm. boy is not on your boy it's on you it's it's on you okay him liking those pictures while he's going out with you oh it, it fucks up with your self-esteem and stuff like that i can understand that but it's let's just, let's just say it loud and listen to yourself when you say it self-esteem it's yours. It's yours. It's your self-esteem. All right? If a guy is liking certain girls and certain things on IG, or a girl is liking muscle men or cute men or handsome men or guys with green eyes because that's her fetish, whatever it may be, or, or things, not even a fetish, just something she's into, whatever. I'm not a word it, you're right? And then a guy goes, well, why, why all these green eyed muscle guys? I, I'm not, I got brown eyes and I'm fat. It's like, I always feel like, honestly, it's like, stay out of that arena. Like, if a person is with you, they treat you right. They like you. They love you. They show you respect. They show you admiration. They, 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 they appreciate you. It's like, what are you doing trying to get into, like, and then a lot of times, this, this is another thing. Let me, let me add this one caveat. Would you get into your partner's head on the things that matter for them? That's intrusive. And it creates a level of, of that person feeling like they got to protect themselves from you. Would you want your partner to feel like you're the enemy? That you're, you're the black ops motherfucker that's about to be against them now. So keep that in mind. And if he likes those pictures and that's a fetish or that's a fantasy, it stays a fantasy. All right? It doesn't mean that that's what he wants or whatever. That's exactly what he craved. No, he likes the picture. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying my girl doesn't want me to become a vampire? No, no, that's actually what I, I'm, I'm saying. Yep. So all yeah. those girls who were like getting super wet over the Vampire Diaries or Twilight, don't I wasn't act... supposed to change into looking like them? Did you? 
I'm just wondering. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. That, that's what I'm. It's like it's it's a fantasy. Yep. The same way some of you women, even though you're super feminist, fantasize about a whole bunch of shit. I don't like when a woman say, "Oh, you like big asses," or "You like big." T I was like, "Did you see the small titty bitch that I like?" And why are we not having that conversation? You know what I mean? So. I'm a little bit different where I just like women in general. I, I like to post women and all that. I mean, I, I post everything I see, goddammit. <clears throat> I think um, women probably see like beauty standards changing. And if you have insecurities in yourself already off the top and you yeah. see your boyfriend is looking at those kinds of women and you're uncertain and you're insecure, it stands to the reason that you might think he wants someone like that. Yeah, but Why if, do you women feel that way? If, if you look, if I t you take... The girls that you, if you look at the guys that your girl like, you, we would not be happy any. Do I fucking look like Brad Pitt? Do you know what I would have to do and endure to fucking remotely look like Brad Pitt? I can't do that. I'm not going to change. If I see my girl liking a picture of Brad Pitt, I can't be like, I'm going to look, I'm going to be Brad Pitt and change my hair blonde. And, that's fucked. I am aware what I like. What I don't like, what I want to intake, and what I don't want to intake. I am in charge of myself. It is the reason why I have a problem with the women and men who have a problem with Kevin Samuels because you are in charge of yourself. If you never viewed that content, you wouldn't have a hard stance on Kevin Samuels because if you don't like something, you don't keep going back to it. You don't keep consuming what it said. But dude got a small dick and you're getting with a girl. She's like, no, small dicks are fine. But she's looking at dicks with big, big dicks. Yeah, the dude's probably going to be terribly insecure. Probably if they, and I know plenty of dudes, if they could, they would change it in a heartbeat. I can understand that. You know, so those whole ideas and insecurities and then going for what you think your partner actually wants based off what they like online, is it far-fetched? But if, if, I understand that. But if you go for it, you can't blame, you took the decision. I have a hard time blaming the other person for like, yeah, I just... I, I agree with you. I did I did this whole dick thing for you. No, you wanted a dick. You wanted a dick. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if she's actually blaming him. I think she's just saying, you know, like, oh, so you changed. So, like, this whole thing, what was the point of it? I don't think she actually blamed him. That's why you shouldn't go through somebody's prawn history. That's why you shouldn't worry about, oh, he like this. He like, no, he like you, baby. That's why he dating you and he call you his girlfriend. Oh, but what about what he like? What about what you like? Baby, I'm quite sure it ain't exactly him. Tell me something, ladies. Every lady who want to get like this girl here, let's let's let her talk. Every lady like this girl, let's let her talk. This is completely irreversible. So the more weight I gain, the fatter my butt gets, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. It is just constantly growing. <sighs> and today I was getting bubble tea. Alicia, would you want to tell them the story? I was getting bubble tea today, and some lady on drugs. Uh, came up to me and was like, so you like the way you look? This is why young girls blah 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 and just gave me the fact and I just burst into tears. I bursted into tears because I was, I was that young girl, okay? And I became this. When you masturbate when your man ain't around, are you watching videos of you and your man or your man by himself or, you know what I'm saying? Are you just watching your boyfriend? See what I'm saying? So, if you had an off day at home, you needed to rub one out. He supposed to come home and see that you rub one out to Thor? <laughs> like, <laughs> help me. Help me. Huh? Tell me. Help me help you. So, he supposed to be tight. Oh, damn, he don't look nothing like me. Damn, baby, it ain't like that. I was in my, like, why you going through my stuff? Like, hold on. How intrusive is that? Person make you feel like you cheated on them. And this is not what I want to advertise to anyone. It's gonna be so controversial, but people that do this to themselves are mentally ill. We, if we don't, if we say we don't, we're lying. Obviously not for everyone. But if you're in that boat, you know what boat I'm talking about. Cancel that surgery. Because one, the trend's gonna be gone in a few years. Two, it hurts, it's very painful and costs a lot of money. And three, you will regret it because that man is going to be gone. And then you'll be stuck with a freaking dump truck that you can't get rid of and get screamed at on the street by old ladies on ladies do you want your partner to feel inadequate like i'm i'm, I'm not i'm not what you want you understand that you're gonna be like no 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 i i was just getting off
No, no, no. I really didn't watch it. No, no, no. It's not how I feel. People always talk about the shoe being on the other foot. I don't even think it's that deep about the shoe being on the other foot. I don't. I don't. I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. A lot of people find this weird, but I don't. If I got a partner, I don't even watch their social media. I don't watch my partner's social media. I'm in the house with them. You think I want to post under their posts while I can while I'm next to them? Some shit that we 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 tried to make norm. Like I I, I ain't gonna say, it's just certain shit we try to make normal about social media, y'all. I'm gonna be honest, it's fucking weird. It's weird. 